Let me get a... Uh... No, give me Leviticus 19. Give me Leviticus 19. Give me Leviticus. I'm going through commandments right now. These are these are laws that, that our our uh, society, our world needs. Right. When I say world, I'm talking about world of Israel. Everybody else, it, all these other, uh, these things or these guys are for them. But it's not for us. The most I said, we're a peculiar treasure. And we're um, holy people, separate, right? Let me get a... Uh, 1917. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother. Y'all should not do what? Thou shalt not hate thy brother. That's what comes with hate. Death. Yeah. Death. Yeah. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. I'm mine, read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Rebuke thy neighbor. That means if I see, if I see my neighbor in the midst of sin, because the wages of sin is what? Death. Right. And if I love my brother, I'm going to keep him from doing that. Right. I'm going to keep him from death, right? That's what love is. So if, if my, my brother's out here sinning, he out here sleeping with multiple women, I'm going to say, hey, bro, you better stop. Because one, you're going to catch something. Yeah. And it, it may be curable, one, but on the end, you got that package. You got that gift, and you're going, and it's death. It's death. Stop. And that's love. He reads. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. If we follow that one commandment right there, now keep going. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. That's right. Keep going, keep going. Verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge. That's what's gangs right there. Thou shalt not do what? Thou shalt not avenge. Don't avenge. It's all of the Father. Let him avenge. Let him come back and do what he's going to do for his people. Because he's going to redeem us. Really? No bear any grudge. No grudges. No, that's hatred. What comes with hatred is grudge. Read. Against the children of thy people. Of thy people. Your brothers. Your sisters. Get. Read it again. I'm going to mess it up. Thou shalt not avenge, uh -huh. nor bear any grudge uh -huh. against the treasure, the children of thy people. Uh -huh. But thou shalt love thy neighbor. What? Thou shalt love thy neighbor. And what is love again? According to the most high God? What's love? Love. Well, right, but go back go back to John uh, go back to uh, John 1, 5, 3. John 4, Brother yeah, wanna brother want to know how does the Bible say he's Israel? Got you, hold on. The book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. Hey, listen up, sis. This is love. If you love me, keep my commandments. Oh, when you go home, I want you to keep repeating it over and over and over and over again. If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. If I love the Lord, I'm going to keep his commandments. I'm going to do whatever you tell me. That's how you respected your earthly father, right? Yeah. When your father said something, it was a wrap. It's done. It's Same life. thing with the heavenly father, right? If you love me, keep my command. If you want to prove that you down for me and you love me, just do as I say. It's not grievous. It's not a hard thing to do. Read. All right, sis. Put, the, put that dress on. Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Right, go to Deuteronomy 28. Uh, 28. No, to Deuteronomy 1 and 1. So you said you want to know how the Bible says that you're Israel, and according to the sign, you are what? you Judah, you're American black, right? American black Judah, same Christ, same tribe Christ came from. Same tribe Christ came from. Uh, read uh, Deuteronomy 1 and 1. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. Are you familiar with uh, Moses going to Egypt? You, you're familiar with that, right? So this right here, this takes place right here is when they're in the wilderness, when they had already, uh, the exodus has already happened. They already exited Egypt. Now they're in the wilderness. And Moses is giving the children of Israel, the children of Israel, the laws of, of the Most High God, okay? Read verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. To who? All Israel. These be the what? These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. So now give me Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. So we, these are the words that Moses is speaking to the children of who? Children of who? Who's Moses speaking to? Right. So we're gonna go. And it's a, it's a dialogue. They going. The Moses. Moses is going through the commandments, the laws, giving Israel the laws. Right. So they'll, we're just gonna go a little, a little bit further in the book of Deuteronomy. Read verse fifteen. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, verse fifteen. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, 
to observe to do all his commandments, all his, what? All his commandments and his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses, all these, what? all these curses. Now, is the curse a good thing or a bad thing? Bad. It's a bad thing, right? So the Lord is telling the most the, through Moses. Moses is telling Israel that if you listen to the Lord, you'll be you'll be all right. You'll be blessed. But if you don't, all these curses shall come upon thee. Then he starts listening curses that's going to be upon a particular group of people, a nation. All right, read. Now remember your question is how the Bible said that you're Israel. That all these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee uh -huh. and overtake thee. Read. Curse shall there be in the city, uh -huh. and curse shall there be in the field. So, so tell me how uh, us as a nation, how are we cursed in the city? This skin color. Skin color, but how, well, what, what, what? Uh, that's true. But what is happening to our, our, our people, our brothers and sisters at an alarming rate? That's always televised. So, some of it's not televised, but they kill weekend. What else? What about George? You remember George Floyd? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Breonna Taylor, yeah. Tamir Rice. Who was the brother that was eating ice cream in his living room? Uh, was it Bottom Jean? Yeah. Yeah, but a brother was in his living room eating ice cream, man. That's how we're cursed. This is how we're going, how the Bible's going to show you that you're Israel, because Moses is speaking to who? Israel. When was we cursed in the field? Yeah. Cursed in the field? Yeah, when was we, because we cursed in the city, you see that, right? We cursed, when was we, at a time we was cursed in the field? When we were slaves. There you go, right? So is this click? It's clicking, right? Yeah. This happened to my people, right? Showing you who you, who you are. Just said the Lord. Read. Give me uh, verse thirty-two. Thank you. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, verse thirty-two. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. He's still addressing the children of Israel. He said, "Your sons and your daughters shall be given to another people." When did that take place? Uh, the slave? Slavery. Yeah. This is, yeah. Slavery, yes, sir. Slavery. It's like, damn, that. That happened to my people, but the most I got talking about Israel, but that sounds familiar. That's because he's talking to you. Right. And thy eyes shall look uh -huh. and fail with longing for them. Right, because we're looking for our children, but we have no might to get them back. Right. And fail with longing for them right. all the day long, uh -huh. and there shall be no might in thy hand. Meaning we will not have the necessary power to like, look, no. That's my child. That's my possession. You can't have it. We didn't have those. We didn't have the luxury. We didn't have power. All that was taken from us. Give me verse 48. Give me verse 48. Or oh, was that finished? Give me 48. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies uh -huh. in which the Lord shall send against thee. We shall serve by who? Enemies uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee. Now the Most High God sent these enemies upon us because we did not hearken and listen to him because we were disobedient. These curses that we're, that we're still living today is because of, di because of disobedience. You understand me? And he's speaking to the children of who? Israel. Right. Hold on. And hunger. And hunger. Because we don't, have, we don't own these restaurants, Burger King, McDonald's, uh, 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 poultry farms, Walmart. Uh, Walmart. We don't own these things to, to mass produce these things. That's right. right? But it's a nation on this earth that does. It's our enemy, right? And in thirst. We can't even collect rainwater without getting in trouble. We can't. I think something passed in Maryland. Like you, it's against the law to collect rainwater. Yeah, right. This is a free resource. It's coming from the sky. It's coming from the Lord. And they taxing it. If you don't pay your water bill, what will happen? They'll cut it off. Your enemy will cut it off. Right? And in nakedness. We don't own textile mills. We don't own the fabrics. You might have rappers that have their name on a shirt, but he don't own the, the fabric or the textile mills to make the shirt. You know what I'm saying? We got to see. And to, come, to put clothing on our, our kids and ourselves, we got to serve our enemy. Read. And in want of all things. Man, when you when you born, you got to see him. When you die, you got you to have a birth certificate, death certificate, driver's license. To travel the country, you got to have a passport. You gotta walk. If you walk around here with an ID, you can get arrested for that. Education. Education. Hey, uh, uh, go on, keep going. What else we got? And, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. When did that happen? It said, and he, and he, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Who that happened to? The slaves. Are you not a descendant of the slave trade? 
Did you not get here by slave ship? Is who is he not speaking to the Moses not speaking to the children of Israel? So what does that make you? Child of God. All praises. Keep reading. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So that yoke of iron is not on our neck. Physically, it's not on our neck anymore. It's on our mind. You want to know why I say it's on our mind? Because we do everything, everything they taught us, we willingly do it. Christmas. You celebrate Christmas? Yeah, that's not of us. That was given to us in slavery under this farce right here. Birthdays under this farce right here. Thanksgiving under this farce right here. That's right. Birthdays under this farce right here. The most high, in Leviticus 23, all our high holy days are in the Bible, and none of them are birthdays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's. What else is it? Easter, Sunday worship? It's not in the Bible. That's right. It's everything that he everything that he stands for, we do it willingly now. Teach. It was forced upon us in by a bit of constraint at one point in time, but now that we're destroyed, we do it willingly. If I stop you, I gotta go. All right, bro. Let me finish this up. Can I finish one more script? Goes uh 68 real quick. And the Lord and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Because we never went back to Egypt, right? Egypt means slavery. Prove it. 20 and 2 real quick. 20 and 2. Exodus 20 and 2. And it's saying, ye shall bring thee into Egypt again. I am the Lord thy God. Call it, call it. The book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 2. Read. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of, the, out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. What does bondage? What's another word for bondage? Like being contained? Yeah, and what, when did that happen to us? Slave. So another word for bondage is slavery. So read it again. So the most I, Moses wasn't talking about going back into Egypt. He's talking about going back into captivity. Because initially in, in Egypt, we were slaves there as well. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Slavery again. How are we going to get there, bro? With ships. With what? With ships. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. How do we get over here? By ship. Is that not what Moses is saying right here? To the to we speaking to who? The children of who? Israel. I want you to say that, children of Israel. You remember you are an Israelite. Right? You understand me? But it's things you must do. It's things that's required of you that you know you're Israel. Keep reading. And there ye shall be sold into your enemies. Once we, I'm sorry, once we got off those slave ships, he said we're going to do what? And there ye shall be sold into your enemies. Sold into who? Into your enemies. Read. For bond men and bond women. And no man shall buy you. Meaning there's nobody going to be able to, to redeem us out of slavery. It's only one man that's going to be able to do that. That's you had Mother Luke King tried. Malcolm X tried, right. Marcus Garvey tried, right. am I missing somebody? Megan Evers. Megan Evers tried, what Gabriel Prosser, was he, he tried, Nat Turner, they all tried. But it says, this, the, the most I got said, no man will be able to buy you, no man will be able to save you, but it's one man that will be able to redeem us, that's right. and that's the, the black Messiah, Jesus the Christ. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth